what it was like to share that moment with Christian Cage in the ring after you won the Casino Battle Royal. Yeah, man, that was, um, it was nuts. To, to be in there with the guys who've been doing this so long and kind of changed the sport and influenced so many people, um, to be able to do that with him in the ring and then have him show that appreciation after, it was, it was amazing. Um, the whole thing felt like magic. How did it feel to be like kind of, this Battle Royal is kind of your repertoire. Yeah. Do you kind of like doing them? And is, is it, has it, is yeah, it I mean, like, they're yeah. interesting. This one's a little different than some of the other ones. Um, you know, I feel a lot of times I've, I've come very close. I've been there right at the end, and then it doesn't always work out, which is a bummer. But it felt cool tonight in front of the, the full crowd after so long. This to be the night felt totally cool. During that match, you kind of saw how you had this realization that during the right portion, that yeah. like, you're the only two. Yeah, that was wild for me. Um, you know, at first you got to worry about guys coming left and right and all these people. And there's so many different people you have to think about. And then I've been the last two a couple times. And each time you're, that's that's the guy. You realize, this is the guy i got to beat. This time for it to be a legend like Christian, someone with so much experience, um, you know, that felt like a really tall task. But I was able to do it. What is it like to have that confidence the company behind you? Yeah, it's it's something I've been waiting for. It feels really, really cool, man. Uh, You know, that's one of the things that feels like it's all about that. So I appreciate it. Jack, for you having the reaction of the crowd on Friday night, yeah, match and tonight, what does that mean to you? That's great, dude. It's like it's a completely different game now, kind of that people are back. Um, You know, at first when the when the fans disappeared, it felt really, really awkward. And then over the past, I don't know how long it's been, but more than a year, I kind of got used to that. I kind of forgot what it was like. So to step out there for the first time and to hear that amount of noise is just nuts. And, uh, you know, it kind of feels like we're starting all over again for the very first time. Ever, so it's great. What do you think about the trajectory of the crowd responding, how they react to you, yeah. and how that's built? Yeah, Kenny, that's a that's gonna be a big one too. It um it felt cool after not seeing the crowd for so long to see that they're more invested now than they were the last time I saw them. Um, it's weird. I've been doing a lot of these things and you don't hear like an immediate response. So it's cool to see that it's been translating to people at home and all that. Um, and then a big difference now is the song is different. And that it's when I'm standing back there waiting to go through the curtain. The second it comes on, I can just hear the whole place. And it makes it so much easier to go out there because I'm like, this is what it's all about. You and Christian said a moment after, what did he actually tell you when he was walking out of the ring? He said, uh, he said to take this momentum and go all the way with it. Um, he said a couple things to him. And that again, that kind of endorsement from him uh, just makes me feel that much better going forward, getting ready to wrestle Kenny, which is, is huge. Jack, uh, you came into AW as one of the youngest signees yeah. and one of the most hyped signees in the process. And it's taken a couple of years to finally get to this point. Yeah. What have you learned along the way on that journey, and how do you plan on using that moment for as much as Um, you know, I think as far as in the ring, I think a lot of my ideas about what I, what I need to do as a performer have kind of changed. Um, I've had a bunch of matches that, uh, I feel like the first time I worked with Chris Jericho, I felt the second I touched him, I just became a better wrestler. I don't know how, but it happened. And really, you know, um, you know, some of the worst people like MJF and uh, FTR, I feel like have actually in some ways taught me a lot. Um, you know, when I look back and see old clips of myself, it, it almost feels like a different person a little bit, but I see some of the same things in there. Uh, and there are so many people here I haven't even wrestled yet. So I'd like to just kind of keep wrestling the best wrestlers in the world and improving every time and see where it takes me. Um, and you cannot kill David Arquette. Yes. You, you, uh, sure. yeah, you, uh, you are kind of a thread there for David at, at towards the end. Yeah. Have you heard from him since you won tonight? And would you like to see David in AEW? I've not heard from him tonight. Uh, probably will. So he might. He has kids, so he might get to bed a little early. Fair. Um, I'd love to see David here. Uh, 
You know, I think some people have conflicting opinions on David this and that, but I will say he cares about wrestling tremendously. Um, and you know, he's a guy who had no reason really to ever get back in a ring again. And he just decided to go at it full force, which is really how he is in a lot of ways in his life. So I, I appreciate that a lot. He's a great guy. So cool. we'll see what happens. The single success that you found so fun is your great match with Dax tonight. How's the support system for Lucha Source and Marvel League? Yeah, it, it's great, man. <laughs> it, um, I felt emotional. I didn't know they were coming, but I was on there on the turnbuckle looking out at all the people. And the next thing I know, Marco was there. So I, and that, it felt great, dude. They're, um, as well as my partners, they're two of my best friends. And I love sharing the ring with them as a team, but it feels so cool to have them there supporting me even when I do my own stuff. Um, so I'm super thankful for those guys. How important do you feel like adding your new theme music to, yeah. your, to your presentation has been? Because like you said, the crowd yeah. reacted to you before you even showed yeah. up. I, um, this might be too much, but I feel very terrible before I wrestle every single time. Uh, and sometimes I'll be walking to the curtain and I'll pull a trash can and throw up right in it and then walk out. I get super, super nervous. Um, and then now, as I was saying, the second that music comes on, I can hear, I can hear the whole thing back and immediately it goes away. And I feel I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do it. Um, which, I, it always went away to a certain point, but to hear that big of a reaction so immediately, and to see those people having such a good time, just because of the sights, Great. Uh, and I bet you it's going to help me a lot. That's like the, you talked about it, like getting like, nervous. Like, yeah. Like, has that always kind of been like anticipatory, anticipatory anxiety? Is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah. It, um, I, yeah, I think I'm pretty anxious. It's definitely worse sometimes than others. Um, this obviously was a huge, huge night. And the pressure of the people being here, so I was feeling it tonight. But yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. Oh, yeah. How important have shows like that? Yeah. yeah, it's great, man. It, um, you know, in the beginning, I obviously I'd never been in front of a crowd this size. And even the size of the building was intimidating to me because I was used to tiny little buildings with like 100 people in it. So to be able to look, it's, it goes way, way back there. It was like intimidating. And I'd be thinking about all this other stuff other than what I was actually going to do. So to be able to be here in a kind of like stadium environment um, and then get those repetitions over the past year, I feel like it's helped a lot. Uh, there were reports that uh, AEW was waiting uh, through the pandemic to give you a big moment and yeah. really kind of kickstart what is going to be seen, I'm sure, as many by an ascension to the top. Yeah. Do you uh, can you corroborate those reports, and is this really do you feel the, the culmination for you of everything? And, and now we're really going to get to see you more in the main event. Picture? Yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not fully sure about that. I feel like. Through the pandemic era, I had some pretty cool moments. I got to uh, wrestle Cody, which felt like a really big one for me. Sure. And it it was super cool, but in a way, it was a bummer to do it in front of an empty arena. Yeah. Um, that's something I would have loved to do with all these people here. Um, I feel like I've improved a lot in the time, though, of the pandemic. Um, and, you know, I guess it's been frustrating at points wanting to succeed a little more, but I think it's all kind of aligning at the right time. And, you know, I wouldn't trade tonight for the world, so I'm really happy with the way it's all turning out. Cool. You've grown a lot since you started with AEW, and you mentioned the fact of the pandemic and all of the awesome things that you got to do. What do you attribute a lot of your growth to? Um, you know, I think a lot of it is just the repetition. Um, but as I said, a lot of it's wrestling people who are a lot better than you and have a lot more experience than you do. Um, and not that there weren't those people on the independence and all that, but to get here and like Chris, as I said, a legend, just knows so much. Um, and it just feels different being in there with someone like that. So I feel like to be able to learn from all those people with very different styles of me and thoughts, I feel like it's changed me a lot. So. Guys, we have one more question. When uh, Tony, Tony pitched you the, uh, the how did it feel like, what was your reaction to like getting that new About this? About the, no, getting the music. Oh, the music. Yeah, the music. That was crazy to me. It, um, the song originally was Joey Janela's idea, and I'd never heard it before. Um, and he said, you, you have to come out to this. 
and I, I didn't know what it was, and I thought it was like a little bit goofy, but I saw immediately how much people enjoyed it, and that just made me fall in love with it. And then, you know, I felt like my time with it had kind of come to an end when I came here. Um, and it was actually Tony, had, something Tony had mentioned a long time ago, and he was really excited about it. He's like, I'm going to get it for you, I'm going to get it. And I was like, all right, well, you know, if you do, that's awesome, but I'm not expecting it. Um, and then I'm not sure exactly how that all works, but it's like you did it somehow, uh, right at the beginning of the new year. And I felt like that kind of just changed the game for me, just shot it to a whole new level. Uh, he's, he really is the best. He is, in so many ways, so generous and so passionate and excited about so many things. Um, you know, so I'm really appreciative he would do that for me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Jack.